Coming up on Good Morning Kentucky, after a teenager was shot and killed over the weekend, we're taking a look at Lexington's history of violent crime. Plus, Governor Andy Beshear sits down to reflect on the year that was 2022. And we are dealing with some frosty conditions out there early this morning. We will warm up into the low 50s by this afternoon. Then we're tracking some heavy rain. Those details coming up straight ahead. Good Morning Kentucky with Lee Cruz and Haley Harmon starts now. It is 5 o'clock. Good morning, Kentucky. I'm Lee Cruz. Thanks for joining us today. Haley Harmon is off. We're going to uh, visit with our buddy Dylan Gooday standing by over at the Weather Center to get a first look at your forecast and what you can expect this morning. It's a cold start for sure. Definitely colder than yesterday. Yesterday was a little chilly, but this morning takes the cake. Takes the cake. It does. Okay. But it's still not as cold as it's going to get, yes, according to you. Yes, that is true. And today's actually a go day as well. So enjoy today because we have rain on the way and then that wintry weather uh, moving in for your weekend. Here's a look now, a live look in Richmond on our Bluegrass Care Navigator Skyview. Temperatures this morning, low 30s for nearly everyone. Uh, 34 here in Lexington, but there's still some frost uh, that is out there. So keep that in mind 31 as you head down towards the London Corbin area 30 in hazard is our cold spot uh, there with 26 in Monticello as well 32 Frankfurt and Richmond again this is where we should be this time of the year so it shouldn't be any surprise but it's changed from what we've dealt with over the last week partly cloudy skies right now we will see some cloud cover building throughout your day today temperatures only reaching the upper 40s low 50s but tonight the rain moves in and we could see some heavy rain through Wednesday we'll break that down for you plus give you a look at those cold temperatures on the way for the weekend and beyond details in your full forecast all right Dylan thank you let's uh, get to your headlines we'll start in Scott County this morning where a heated debate continued Monday night over the proposed water and sewer rate increase for the city of Georgetown ABC 36's Maddie McQueen breaks that down Welcome back to Good Morning Kentucky with Lee Cruz and Haley Harmon. Good morning, Kentucky meteorologist Dylan Day here with a live look at Mount Sterling on our Bluegrass Care Navigator Skyview. Calm conditions out there this morning. It is cold, several areas below freezing uh, to start your day today. So you'll likely have to defrost those windshields. We're sitting at 32 degrees right now in Mount Sterling. But once you factor in easterly wind, feels closer to 25, so that Wind chill this morning is definitely cold in spots. Good morning, Kentucky. I'm Lee Cruz at 723. Let's get to your headlines. Here's what's happening today in Lexington. The sentencing for two people arrested two years ago in connection to a cold case homicide that went unsolved for more than a decade. We reported back in 2020, Lexington police arrested 34-year-old Rachel Martin along with 38-year-old Edward Carroll in connection to the death of 71-year-old Charlie Sowers. Police had been investigating the case ever since Sowers was found suffering from a head injury at his home on Augusta Drive back in May of 2009. Police haven't released many details about the murder or how Martin and Carroll are connected to the victim. The two are scheduled for a sentencing hearing at noon today in Fayette County Court. And Here's what's happening tonight in Eastern Kentucky. Knott County Central will celebrate the reopening of its high school gym by hosting its first game since this summer's historic flooding. The district says local engineering and construction teams have been busy working on the gym to repair and replace what was damaged in the devastating storms. Now, four months later, the high school will be celebrating the reopening of their gymnasium with their first home game. Tonight's game against Letcher County Central is set to tip off at 7 p.m. Stay with us. Dylan's got a look at your forecast coming up in a moment. Here's a look at that Tuesday forecast. Partly sunny and quiet conditions today. Enjoy it. Though it's a cold start, enjoy today because we have some major changes in the forecast the rest of the week. Tonight we're going to fall into the 40s. And then the rain moves in, especially early Wednesday morning. That's when we're dealing with the heaviest of the rain. Rain continues on into Thursday early in the day as well, and that's when we'll start to track those colder temperatures. Staying into the 30s all weekend long, maybe a few snowflakes both Friday and Saturday before uh, we stay into the 30s into next week. Good Day Kentucky on ABC 36 starts now. 
Well, good day, Kentucky, and welcome to the broadcast. I'm Lee Cruz. Haley Harmon is off today. We still got a big show planned for you, though. A lot of things happening, including a conversation with the director of the Kentucky Ballet Theater. He's going to be with me, Norbe Risco, talking about his trip to Cuba and also what he's got planned. If you haven't seen the Nutcracker, which, is, of course, is a Christmas tradition, you can do that, and we'll show you how to get tickets coming up in just a bit. Also, holiday shopping deals all across the bluegrass. If you haven't put your list together, just sit back and relax. And then a man I respect immensely, Dylan Godet. This guy is going to track the week's forecast. Now, how he does that, we're not sure. But he can tell you what the weather's going to be. And isn't that wonderful? Okay. We'll talk with him. Also, um, well, Annie Brown. Let's go check in with her. That's what's coming up next. She's got news headlines for us over at the news desk. Lee, thank you. I'm Annie Brown. Thank you so much for joining us here this morning. It's 9 o'clock on your Tuesday. We're going to get a check of that weather with our meteorologist, Dylan Godet. It's going to tell us all about kind of the nicer day we've got today before it kind of gets crazy again. Am I right? Yeah, absolutely. Enjoy today. It's not the greatest of days ever, but temperatures a little bit above average. We are dry before heavy rain moves in Wednesday into Thursday, and then we'll be tracking a true winter-like feel to the air once again. We saw that a couple weeks ago, but it's back uh, starting this weekend and likely to stick around at least through Christmas and beyond, so stay tuned for that. You're watching Good Day Kentucky on ABC 36. Welcome back into Good Day Kentucky. Joining us this morning in studio with a very special guest is Remy Simpson, the president and founder of Pause for the Cause. Welcome for the welcome to the show. How are you? Howdy, howdy. Doing pretty good. Good, good. Well, can you talk to me about who you brought here? This is Susie Q. She's uh, about 10 months old and she'll be available soon for adoption or foster if you, if you, if you like. Today at 3, remembering Mike Leach, former UK offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach who suddenly passed away. Plus, two people arrested two years ago in connection to a cold case homicide that went unsolved for more than a decade. Learn their sentence. And we're hearing from Miss Kentucky, who's competing in the Miss America pageant this week. More on why she says she's running. I'm Chief Meteorologist T.J. Shaw. Good to see a little more sunshine out there. Temperatures about where they should be for mid-December. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Got another storm system bringing more rain for the midweek. Your storm team forecast is coming up. Good afternoon, Kentucky. ABC 36 News at 3 starts now. Good afternoon, Kentucky. I'm Erica Bivens. Thanks for joining us. Condolences continue to pour in for Mississippi State University head football coach Mike Leach and former UK offensive coordinator who passed away last night of heart condition complications. ABC 36's Annie Brown has more on how the community is remembering him in our top story today at 3. Yeah, Coach Leach passed away Monday night due to complications from a heart condition at the age of 61. Leach was Mississippi State University's 34th head coach beginning in 2020. He was University of Kentucky's offensive coordinator for two seasons from 1997 to 1998. Leach coached Kentucky's offense to six NCAA records, 41 SEC records and 160 records in 22 games. You're watching Good Afternoon Kentucky with Erica Bivens and T.G. Shock. President Joe Biden inviting thousands of guests to the White House today to celebrate as he signs into law gay marriage legislation. The bill enshrines protections for same-sex unions in federal law. The signing is set to take place this afternoon on the South Lawn of the White House. The legislation was passed by bipartisan majorities in Congress last week. Now at five, remembering Mike Leach, former UK offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach who suddenly passed away. Plus, two people arrested two years ago in connection to a cold case homicide that went unsolved for more than a decade learned their sentence. And a global security and aerospace company making a large donation to wreaths across America. More on how it'll help this year's observance in Jessamine County. I'm Chief Meteorologist T.G. Shaw. Good to see some additional sunshine out there on this Tuesday. Higher clouds moving in as expected. Get that rain gear handy. You will need it into the midweek. Your Storm Team forecast is on the way. ABC 36 News at 5 starts now. 
Good evening, I'm Erica Bivens. And I'm Paxton Boyd. Thanks for joining us. Condolences continue to pour out for Mississippi State head coach Mike Leach, the former UK offensive coordinator, passing away last night from heart complications. He was 61 years old. It's tonight's top story at 5. Leach was the University of Kentucky offensive coordinator for two seasons from 1997 to 98. He coached Kentucky's offense to six NCAA records, 41 SEC records, and 116 records in 22 games. UK football taking to social media saying in part quote we send our deepest condolences to coach Leach and the Hale State football family. You're watching ABC 36 News at 5. Well, Miss Kentucky needs your help in the Miss America pageant. The crown will officially be passed on to a new title holder this week, and Miss Kentucky Hannah Edelin is among the contestants. Now, she's asking for your vote in the America's Choice category. You can vote for your favorite Kentucky teacher online. Just visit the Miss Kentucky Scholarship Organization Facebook page for a direct link to vote. Now at 5.30, how a nonprofit is helping single mothers this holiday season and sharing some ways you can get involved as well. Plus, it's National Day of the Horse, why it's extra special here in the horse capital of the world. And when you need to get those packages shipped if you hope to have them under the Christmas tree in time. I'm Chief Meteorologist T.J. Shark. Pretty good day out there on this Tuesday. Started out with sunshine, got high clouds building in. That means changes for the midweek, that rain gear. Definitely going to need it Wednesday. Your Storm Team forecast is on the way. ABC 36 News at 530 starts now. Good evening, I'm Paxton Boyd. And I'm Erica Bivens. Thanks for joining us. Christmas is typically a time that brings people together, and for many parents, a time to show their children a little extra appreciation. But for some, there's a stark reality of barely being able to make ends meet. Now, one toy drive is making sure single moms get a helping hand for the holidays. ABC 36's Anna Medina has more from the woman who started it. It's tonight's top story at 530. Carla Matamoro of Pure Worship International Ministries is the woman behind the toy drive aimed at helping single mothers celebrate Christmas. She says knowing firsthand what it's like to be a single mother, she wanted to be a source for others who may otherwise not be able to celebrate the holiday. With the event quickly approaching, she wants to ensure single mothers register and know that getting help won't make them a charity case. You're watching ABC 36 News at 5.30. Well, the temperatures may be dipping, but that doesn't mean you can't continue staying active outside. Health experts say there are many benefits to year-round exercise if you do it the right way. Yeah, and today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither has more on how to make the most of those outdoor workouts, even when it's cold outside. Now at six, remembering Mike Leach, former UK offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach who suddenly passed away. Plus two people arrested two years ago in connection to a cold case homicide that went unsolved for more than a decade, learned their sentence. And a global security and aerospace company making a large donation to wreaths across America. More on how it'll help this year's observance in Jessamine County. I'm Chief Meteorologist T.G. Shuck wrapping up another pretty good day on this Tuesday. Some sunshine, high clouds building in late this afternoon, and that's going to signal some changes for the midweek. Your Storm Team forecast is on the way. ABC 36 News at 6 starts now. Good evening, I'm Erica Bivens. And I'm Paxton Boyd. Thanks for joining us. Condolences continue to pour in for Mississippi State head coach Mike Leach, a former UK offensive coordinator, passing away last night from heart complications. He was 61 years old. It's tonight's top story at 6. Leach was the University of Kentucky offensive coordinator for two seasons from 1997 to 98. He coached Kentucky's offense to six NCAA records, 41 SEC records, and 116 records in 22 games. You're watching ABC 36 News at 6. Well, the White House has an optimistic view of the economy. The Consumer Price Index was released today, showing the nation's economic crunch appears to be easing. President Joe Biden says he believes this positive trend will continue into the new year. Now at 11, two people sentenced in the 2009 murder of a Lexington bar owner. 
And two Ukrainian refugees now living in Nicholasville sharing their stories of survival. I'm Chief Meteorologist T.G. Shuck. A good-looking Tuesday out there. Some sunshine again, but you see what has headed our way from the west. Looks like a wet midweek to come. Your Storm Team forecast is on the way. ABC 36 News at 11 starts right now. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paxton Boyd. In our top story tonight at 11, a story of strength and hope. Two best friends living through tragedy in Ukraine and staying positive through it all. They're now reunited in Kentucky, living as refugees in Necklaceville with their children and grandchildren. ABC 36's Maddie McQueen has their incredible story of friendship. You're watching ABC 36 News at 11. In Knott County, the Heinemann Post Office on Main Street is reopening. It closed for renovations after it was damaged this summer during the tragic flooding in eastern Kentucky. The post office says it will reopen tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. The main message to Kentuckians is stay home, stay safe, and stay alive. Coming up, the latest from Governor Andy Bashir regarding the Arctic blast. Plus, a special visitor stopped by Baptist Health Lexington this week. And it's cold out there, and it's going to be an even colder Christmas morning, but we have accumulating snow on the way for Monday. I'll break those down in your storm team forecast coming up. ABC 36 News Weekend Edition starts now. Good evening, everyone, and a Merry Christmas Eve. Thanks for joining us. I'm Maddie McQueen, in for Caitlin Shive. We begin tonight with the weather. Brutal cold again today, but it seems like people will get that white Christmas they've been talking about. Let's take a peek in with our meteorologist, Jordan Smith, for your Christmas Eve forecast. Yeah, Maddie, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. It's not just a dream this year. It is a reality, thanks to that snow that we had on Friday. Temperatures across the board this afternoon, or late evening rather, 14 degrees here in Lexington, 14 down the road in Danville, 16 in Somerset. Cold spot right now is 12 down there in Williamsburg. We will continue to drop it off throughout the next several hours. You're watching ABC 36 News Weekend Edition. And it's a Christmas miracle for a family in North Carolina. They were reunited on Friday with their dog, Isis, who disappeared in 2020. Thanks to a tracking chip, she was found hundreds of miles away in Jacksonville, Florida. Janessi Harris talked to her owner about the reunion. 